That's not your purse. You don't have the okay, right to get in it. It's called plain view. Go the it's f called plain view. Turn around. Blah, blah, blah. Turn around. Okay, you're in possession of drug paraphernalia at the end of the day. Take it, I said. Stand take up. it. Stand up. Oh, you prick. Oh, oh, that's my dick. It can be a risky endeavor to call the cops on someone when you yourself are breaking the law, which is what I'm assuming is going to go down in today's video called trying to get the dad arrested totally backfires from police insiders. But it's just an assumption because as you know, this is a blind reaction. So let's get started. On March 24th, 2023, officers were dispatched in reference to a domestic violence case. Well, he backed far away after knocking on the door. Can you put the dog in a room for me? I will. Can you give me Come on, buddy. Go ahead and throw the dog in a room for me. All right. Who called? Me. You did? Yeah, sure did. Right. Okay. First of all, let's talk about how are the cops in her house right now. Remember, when you call 911, you are inviting them inside your house. No warrant, no probable cause, no exigent circumstances. They are in your house based on consent. And so if something is happening out in the open, you brought the cops there. Let's see what happens. The female who called the police and answered the door stated that she had a verbal dispute with her father and that she just wants her parents to listen to her and take responsibility for what happened in her childhood. Oh. She also advised that her father threatened her. What did right he, behind that chair. When, him. when did he threaten to punch you? Well, treat me the way he treated me. Hey. I don't, are you talking to me or are you talking to them? No, I'm not talking. You don't talk to her or make a face. What I'm saying, talk though, is you need to be talking to me. I have never once called the cops on someone before, and this is the first time, and he deserves it. Okay, so take me through Threaten what's going on me. today. Another officer arrived on the scene. Okay, well, he's going to go talk to him, no, separate. Not without me. Okay, then we're, do you want us to conduct an investigation or not? No, I can't be in a room when he's on. I don't, sir. Because we're separating okay, all the witnesses. I thought it was y'all had to talk together. The cops took the female's father in the other room, where he explained that she had been screaming at them the whole day and blaming them for the choices that she made. I'm just getting tired of it. I don't know if she didn't pay rent or nothing. She didn't pay rent or nothing. She didn't pay rent or nothing. So it's super normal for cops to separate people in order to interview them because look, uh, there's two sides to every story or maybe three, right? You, um, and they've got to see what each person's going to say independent of the other. So they're doing it the right way right now. The officer explains to her father that in order to make his daughter leave their house, he needs to file for a formal eviction at the municipal courthouse. So he just said, so you guys were arguing, he said you deserve everything you got. That's all you've said so far. And he no threatened to punch me. What, okay, at what point did he threaten to punch you then? That's what I'm getting right at. I'm here on the way to the kitchen. I'm, I'm trying to, what I, I am sequence trying to of get, events. I am getting there. Okay, you're jumping all back nah, and forth. if you give me a second to say it, I will say it. Just give me the I'm I giving you plenty of seconds. Keep going. Nope. Did you threaten her at all? No, I told her I'm about ready to punch her in her face, but I said, she said, well, go ahead and I'll go to jail. The father states that he did threaten his daughter and said that if she keeps acting like that, he'll punch her in the face. Ah, but that is not actually a threat. That is conditional. You know, that is not a crime. If you say to someone, if you do thus and such, then I will commit a crime. Well, saying it is not a crime because it's conditional. It's not a promise about something in the future. It's this hypothetical situation. And that might be bad parenting, but it's not illegal parenting as long as your threat is conditional. The officer advised him to contact the sheriff's department in such a situation because statements like these can be considered as threats of violence. And nope. It's better to call the police first. It is call better to call the cops, but it's not true. Issues. If you start feeling at that level, we'll walk away, you know. Um, but it sounds to me like this is a, a toxic situation here that's not going to get better until you guys decide to to do something, okay? Soon, one of the officers found a marijuana pipe in her bag. This is when things started escalating. You have a marijuana Okay, so this is interesting. Now, if they found the marijuana pipe out in the open, I would say, okay, that's in plain view. But what were they doing in her bag? And what kind of bag was it? And did she give them permission to get into it? This is, uh, we don't know yet. No. Huh? Do you have a medical marijuana um, license? I have to pay $50 more so that I can okay. have it. So you don't. Go, it's not your purse. You don't have the okay, right to get in it. it's plain view. Go the okay. Way. Plain view. Turn around, blah, put your hands behind your back. Blah. Turn around, put your hands behind your back. I was trying to Turn around, put your hands behind your back. 
Okay, so he's saying that the answer to my question is that the bag was not sealed and he could actually just see it. Well, now he's going to arrest her for possession of paraphernalia and she just took the bag and threw it across the room and he's now told her twice that he's placing her under arrest and so far she is not participating in that let's see what happens of drug oh she tried to kick him I mean, that's that's a misdemeanor stop. assault me right there. Okay. Give me your hand and stop resisting. If you if you resist, give me your hand and stop resisting. If you resist, you're gonna get tased. Simple. He stares at me, punched me, and I thought I had to call you guys for it. Okay. Is that a problem? While searching her bag, officers found a number of intoxicants. Can I ask you a question? It's a problem. Why why did you kick me? Because you came at me. What you want? Okay. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> She has just uh, agreed with him that she committed a battery against the officer. And it would be an assault also because he saw that she was about to kick him. Those are misdemeanors. Um, but she's now admitted to it if you couldn't see it in the footage. But like, I could see it in the footage. So what about this notion that now that she's arrested, they're just going to dig into her purse and see what else is in there? Well, they are allowed to do a search incident to arrest once they have probable cause to arrest you. They can look inside your bags. Well, that's where all the evidence is anyways, which they already knew because they saw into it when it was open. And I mean, it's a simple principle. If you invite the cops into your situation, then the cops are in your situation. So you better have your house in order before you call them over. The officer asks the female if the marijuana in her purse was hers. She denies it and says that she hasn't been consuming any illegal substances since a long time. Sit I'm down. just going to so right on my butt sit. right there. No, you're going to sit okay. right on okay, the couch. Hey, sir. You don't make those just big cock. Hey, no. When's the last time you used any illegal substances? I have never one? used one, so suck my Okay, d you told me that you were a drug user, that your dad was saying that stuff. I so. used to take pills, they were prescribed. Okay. Everybody can f off. There is no way that she is not under the influence of drugs right now. Just 0% chance. I was gonna clean my room until I got high. I don't have pockets. Let me just don't take any of pockets. Go ahead, check. Right, go ahead. Okay. Yeah, yeah, she kicked the other officer and, and uh, obstruct, which she'll be charged with obstruction of justice, I think. Uh, she may be also be charged with assault on a police officer. You asked, why are you taking me over? Well, first of all, we have to address hours. the paraphernalia. Second of all, we have to address. The fact that I told you you were going to be placed under an arrest for obstruction if you continue. That. What's that? I was trying to get them out of my mouth. That's I just can't. Meanwhile, the other officer heard something falling in one of the rooms and became suspicious. It happened back there. Something fell down back there. Probably like Christine in the bathroom. What is going Who's on? You okay? A friend of Janet's. Oh, okay. What's Christine's last thing? I don't know. Is she allowed to be here? Yeah. It's kind of odd that she stayed in the bathroom the whole time. Does she have warrants? I don't know. Hey, Christine, I need you to come out here for a sec. The officer asked the female's friend if she knew what was going on, but she said that she didn't hear anything because she was sleeping. However, she was placed under arrest after dispatch confirmed that there was a warrant for her arrest. Uh, put your hands behind your back. Interesting. She doesn't have to come out of that bathroom. I don't think. I'm thinking this through, okay? They have a right to be in the building because the woman called them in. Now, they don't necessarily have a right to be in the bathroom. However, if she has outstanding warrants, I take it back. They can direct her to come out of the bathroom, and she has to come out. So she's in a bad situation if they know who she is, which it sounds like they do. Put a cigarette in your mouth right now. We can put it out in a minute. Put your hands on your back. Can you uh, take me through what happened today? I called the police because my father had threatened to hit me several times. And I have facial reconstructive surgery, so I said that it won't go well. I might end up in prison. And that was in that. And I go back to my room, I get my computer, and I bring it out. And I was like, Dad, there's something that's really important to me. And I start hearing up. It's really important to me. If you would just give this a chance, just try to read it if you can't. Okay, I get it. He went off and couldn't stop starting to beat me up and kick me out and punch me and do this and that. 
Real quick, I just wanted to say that Attorney Tom slash Attorney Reacts content is now on Spotify. We just launched a partnered show. Link in the description. Go check it out. Now, back to the video. He specifically said, I'm going to knock you the f out, hit you right in the f face. Yeah, that. Use my leg to try to get you away from me because you came at me the way you came at me. You don't come at people normal like that. Okay, so you didn't sit back on the couch and refuse to listen to commands? <sighs> I'm sure I did. Okay. I and did I warn you window. that? Okay, well, that's an admission. But what I'm interested in is whether or not they're going to arrest the dad. Because his version of what happened was a very self-serving statement, which is this conditional threat. I told her if she kept going on like this, I would hit her. She's not saying it went down like that. She's saying that the dad just straight up threatened her. Well, look, it's not like the cops have to pick one or the other. They can arrest everyone. And honestly, in this situation, maybe they should. You would be placed under arrest. You for probably did. You did. Okay. So then when I grabbed your wrist to put your hands behind your back, like I requested, you Look, decided I to kick me? I don't remember. It was, I thought that was before that. Okay. All right. Is there anything else you feel like you need to add to this? That I need different officers, to, uh, police officers to talk to me. I do not want to see these two gentlemen again. I mean, we're going to go to the other side of the car, okay? And you don't have any uh, illegal drugs on you that they're no. going to charge you for when no, we go to jail, no. right? Okay. Absolutely not. I feel like stupid. Yeah, it's a little bit of a hop there. But... I'm going to put this seatbelt on you, okay? Because we're going to be transporting here. Are my parents being arrested? I haven't got the chance to speak with them. And they're not. They're okay. well, I All right, they're putting the evidence the away right now. Paraphernalia. I would have if... If I had not been kicked in the chest and everything like that, so if you just give me a second, if you just give me a second, I'll complete the investigation, okay? And she started writing a book about things that have happened in her life, and she blames everything on us, everything that's happened to her, even though it was her choices. While giving their statements, the parents advised that the female had a kidney disease because of which she was on medication. She had also been taking therapy for a while, which may have brought back her childhood trauma, and it could be the reason behind her aggressive nature towards them. Everything, she twists everything around and makes me and her mother and bad people. Got it. All we've ever done is try to help her, you know? Real quick, you said that he threatened to hit you. Did, did he say, if you keep acting like this, like were you saying? No, I was saying, what did I say? If you don't start acting stupid again, I won't have to hit you. That is fascinating. This is what I was saying earlier. If the threat is conditional, then it's not actually a threat. And now the officer is going back to her to kind of push back on her statement to find out, was there a condition to the threat that he was making? And again, not saying that it was good parenting, but I'm saying that if it's conditional, it's not necessarily illegal. And that may be why dad's staying in the house and daughter is leaving. In the head. Okay. And then as I walk away, now and then he started again. Okay, that makes that makes a little bit more sense because that aligns kind of with what he was saying too. Doesn't uh, it what though? All, what all do you want with you right now? I want to go back in my house and make my phone call and get my ride and get out of here okay. for the rest of my life. Yeah, because I ride it on them for their pot. No, so what you're going to jail for is actually the incident with me, not for the incident with them. Okay, right? so I'm asking you a question. They're not getting in trouble for them having pot. I didn't see any marijuana in there. Hey, just before we get there, do you feel like hurting yourself or anyone else? Just me? <laughs> I appreciate the honesty. Am I crazy? Or was she trying to find out if she was in a situation where she could get her parents arrested? Because it sounded to me like that's what she wanted. I don't know. When we enter the store, you're going to go to the right. You're gonna face the glass there and then they're gonna send somebody in to pat you down, okay? Get these cuffs off of you. The female was charged with resisting arrest and possession of drugs. Her friend was taken into custody for her previous warrants. That was a bad day for her and for her parents and really for her friend. And I know there's some kind of two for one, buy one, get one free special joke in there for arresting people, but I'm not gonna make that joke cause I'm above it, but you don't have to be. Let me know what you think of this video down below in the comments. And how did you feel about the surprise double arrest? Did you have any idea that someone who was on the lam was hiding in the bathroom? I didn't. Hey, don't forget to subscribe for more videos from a Attorney Reacts and from me, America's Attorney, and watch these things, and I'll see you next time. Big Verdict.